Hello, what's up, guys? I am Syed Musa Glim from Epicop, and now I'm gonna show you how to create database in PHP MyAdmin dashboard and how you can insert data into your data tables. So let's get started. So I have Easy PHP installed on my local host. As you can see here, it works like a XAMPP or WAMP server, and this is very flexible and it is very easy to use. Easy PHP. You can visit Easy PHP website to get started with Easy PHP. Uh, so this is the site easyphp.org. You can visit this website and you can download Easy PHP localhost web server from this website. So I have installed Easy PHP on my localhost, and this these are few working directories on my list. So I have created one project called mysql app in this project I'm gonna show you how you can create uh, your database and how you can insert data into your database database tables so this is the PHP my admin dashboard which is present here at the bottom of this page mysql administration so I have opened this in in new tab so there you can see here I have one database called client script so I have created this earlier if you want to create a new one you could you could click a new there you can give your database name and inside this you can select U UFC 8 UTF 8 yeah you can see here UTF 8 you can select so I have ins I have created one database here called client script so inside this client script I'm gonna create a new table called first table you could give any name but I'm giving here first table hit go so yeah you can see here we have to give the column names in this data table so obviously the first column name would be ID and the data type of this ID would be integer and the default type should be none here should be select you should select none here and here not here here you should select in the null in this value right you you have to select primary that uh, it means that you are indicating this column as your primary key in this data table it is of type integer and it is a primary key in this table don't forget to click or don't forget to check this box this represents auto increment as you can see here when you hover on this it it, it is showing that it is uh, it auto increments the value of this id column don't forget to check this box and here i'm gonna give name and i'm gonna select var care and the length uh, you might uh, you may give any value but in my case i'm giving 64 and select null only the value of your primary key called ID should be selected none here in the default tab section but in other columns it should be null the default value should be null remember this important point while creating your database tables so leave this all fields as it is next we'll create another column called age and select integer as it is integer or you could select any data type called varchar also uh, but in my case I am selecting I am giving integer value and the size of this is 12 let's give another email uh, another column name called email and select this as varchar and the size of this would be 64 
and you're all done now I have four field or uh, have four columns in my database in in this data table called first table and the four fields and the four columns are ID name age and email ID is the primary key and it is auto incremented and the next column is name age next columns are name age email and hit save so it will save your data table you can see here when you click this first table this is the structure we have four keys or four values four fields in this data table uh, now we have created our table successfully let's hop to the sublime text editor there we can create or there we can establish connection with the database called client script and the table is first table so I have my details in this file like server username password database name so I'm just copying this all fields here and I'm pasting in my in my file called index.php let's comment out these all statements so let me explain you this so server this represents your local host server in my case this is my server 127.0.0.1 this is my server local host web server and the user is root in my case and if you have given any username then you could use your given username in this variable called user and the password I didn't set any password to my database or to my PHP my admin so I'm giving null and my database name DB name is client script you can see here I have given my database name as client script and finally we are creating one variable for connecting to the database this is the variable connect and inside this variable uh, we are passing four parameters using MySQLi procedure so if you want to know more about MySQL MySQLi you could visit W3 schools for the brief introduction of MySQL uh, there are lot of ways to connect to the database but uh, I am using MySQLi you could also use MySQL so W3 schools is the best place for you if you are a newbie or if you are a beginner then do follow this website for creating your databases so in my case I am using MySQLi procedure and I am passing four parameters inside this MySQL object called server user password and the last is database name so after passing these all parameters I am checking the connection is established or not if connect has if the connect object has some errors then I am displaying that connection failed if our connection gets established to the if, if our connection gets established to the database then I am displaying success message successfully established so let's save this and let's run this in the browser and we'll see how it works yes you can see here let me give one break tag here and let's refresh this again yeah, as you can see here our connection gets successfully established to the database called client script now it's time for inserting some data into the first table database table which we have created in client script database so after checking the connection of the database uh, we'll write one query called one query for the insert insert into table name your table name is our table name in in our case is first table and let me 
give name uh, age comma the last one is email we have three fields we have three columns we are giving three columns inside the first table and we are assigning these all values with the values which we are which we are going to give here called the name is YBM uh, we can give any name like John Mm, the age will be 15 and the email address uh, let's give it as john at the rate gmail dot com so let's store this query inside SQL variable and let's say if this connect variable one object is there called query inside this uh, I am checking that this if this query is executed successfully then we can display one message called successfully inserted true if it is true if our connect uh, I am executing my query here connect query this is the object of connect object inside this object I am passing my query called SQL if it is equals to true if it is equals to true equals to true then we'll display one message called successfully inserted if we got or if we get any errors then we'll display the SQL error Uh, or we can say error inserting data error inserting data let's save this and let's hop to the browser and we'll see it is working fine or not yes our data gets successfully and inserted now we'll hop to the PHP my admin dashboard and we'll see if there is any if there any data is there yes we have the ID is one and the name of uh, of the person is John and the age is 15 and email address is John at the rate gmail dot com we have successfully inserted our data in this table let's run this query again by giving some different values called mark and the age will be 20 let's remove John from here and let's give mark at the rate gmail dot com let's save this and let's hop to the browser and we'll refresh it again to see that the message the work the query is executing fine or not yes it is executing successfully inserted now we'll hop to the PHP my admin dashboard we'll refresh now you can see here our ID is auto incrementing you can see here the ID gets changed to 2 in the next row the ID is 2 name is mark and the age is 20 and the email address is mark at the rate gmail dot com so hope you understand about the database in PHP my admin and how you can insert data data into your data tables or database tables using easy PHP web server or you can you you can create database in your XAMPP or WAMP servers uh, WAMP servers as well but in my case I have installed easy PHP because I love easy PHP so this way you can create your databases and you can insert 
uh, and you can insert data into your database tables so don't forget to subscribe my channel and share my videos please like my videos and thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video